Hi, so one of the first things you want to think about when you create a Hyper-V server is the number of NICs that you have. So I'm going to go to my network cards here and show you that in, on this particular Hyper-V server, I actually have two NICs. So the first NIC is for the physical connection between the client and the host machine, the host machine being the server that runs Hyper-V. So I want a NIC that actually retains that connection for a remote desktop or whatever, the traffic that goes between the actual hardware Hyper-V server and the outside world. Now the second NIC I have is the NIC that the virtual machines will use. And I could have, I should have at least one of those if not more. So let me show you how that is configured. So if I click on properties, you'll notice that this particular NIC actually has no IP address. It is actually the network or virtual network or virtual network switch that allows the other virtual machines to have IP addresses. So you'll notice I have two virtual machines here and they each have their own IP address and each of them both go through this virtual this NIC as a virtual switch and I'll I'll go into more detail later on um, and I want to show you the physical NIC that I have well both of them are physical NICs and you'll see that for this particular NIC I do have an IP address Cancel, cancel, and you'll see that the virtual external virtual switch here that I set up. So how do I set that up? So once I have two NICs or multiple NICs in the no, multiple network cards on the server, and I go into my Hyper-V manager, I could set up a new virtual switch. So if I click on virtual switch, you'll see if I create a virtual switch, it'll actually ask me which network card do I want to be the virtual NIC or the virtual switch so you'll see if I highlight the one that I've already created it is uh, this particular network card out of the two that I've chosen as my virtual switch and let me kill like cancel here and you notice once I've done that when I create a virtual machine and I'm just going to go through the motions here but um, and show you the virtual NIC portion so here now I could choose what network or virtual switch the connectivity is going to be for that virtual machine so so it is good to have more than one network card even for the virtual machines depending on how many virtual machines that you have otherwise they will share all all the uh, all the traffic would go through that one network card which which is something you you don't want happening and so that's how you choose the virtual switch when you're creating the virtual machine and I'm going to show you here the virtual machines sharing that NIC so I have the two virtual machines up right now just so you can visually see a little bit better and you'll see if I bring up the network this is the network card that goes through the virtual switch that I set up and you'll notice that for snake eyes here my server it has this IP address and for storm shadow here my other virtual server it has this IP address so that's how you set up the virtual switch and the relationship between multiple network cards and the virtual switch and the IP addresses so I hope this uh, clears up some of the questions that you may have and uh, thank you for watching